At the U.S. Supreme Court, the Biden administration and an ACLU lawyer argue Tennessee's law banning gender-affirming care for minors is too broad and discriminatory since it restricts medical care based on a minor's biological sex. But Tennessee's attorney disputes that, saying the medication minors can get depends on the purpose, not gender. Which level of scrutiny is going to apply? Is it going to be what's called the rational basis standard scrutiny? Or will it be something heightened, such as the intermediate level of scrutiny, which makes it harder for the government uh, to get past pres uh, prescriptions uh, that are put in place, the restrictions that it wanted to? Iowa has a similar law on the books spanning gender affirming care for minors like puberty blockers or hormone replacement therapy, something that could be impacted by the Supreme Court's decision here. If they still say we still think Tennessee's law was constitutional, then that would give a green light to application of Iowa's laws as well. On the other hand, if the Supreme Court said, well, we think that what Tennessee did was unconstitutional, it went too far, again, regardless of what standard they want to apply, then that may be basically a way for uh, Iowa to say, okay, we're going to have to take another look at our, our law. Now that Iowa's law has been in effect for over a year, Keenan Crow with One Iowa says they're seeing the impacts. It has been a, a very great burden on those who have stayed in the state getting care for their young ones, um, having to travel either to Chicago or Minneapolis. We've actually lost a lot of folks um, who have moved to other states or in some cases out of the country. The conservative-dominated high court questions have narrowed in on medical reports from other countries that claim the risks outweigh the benefits, even as many American medical organizations like the American Academy of Pediatrics support gender affirming care. I uh, didn't love what I heard. Lots of misunderstandings on the current medical consensus around trans care. In Des Moines, Skeletal Law reporting.